Hello, welcome to Zombie Killers Director's Commentary, a PVE Motion Pictures production, directed by me, Master Director Paul Nguyen, and me, Master Director, actually not Master Director, but Master Art Stunt Choreographer, my ass, Christopher Williams. Lies, all lies. Okay, explain this scene. Originally, we shot uh, the three main characters, Justin Farouk and, and what's the guy's name? Alisa. Yeah, originally Robin, Robin Howell was playing her part, and uh, Mark Sims was playing uh, Farouk's part. Yes. But yeah, they got replaced because um, the some Robin wasn't available, and uh, Mark just sucked at acting. All right. So, yeah, I'm saying you suck, Mark. You know, you're a good fighter and all that, but you can't act. Anyways, go on. Another reason why is the same day that we did it, it didn't take off too well, was um, very early when we did the, the original first shot, and um, sort of like everybody was kind of drained. So that's why it kind of not offset it to start up on here. Okay, um, those sticks we just found in the room. Um, What's wrong with you? It was a okay, you good. Already? Already. I think uh, Justin and Farouk um, were what do you call it when they're like good buddies? They, they, they had chemistry. Yeah, they had chemi good chemistry. The leather jackets was a coincidence, and I think that helped the picture a lot. You know, set the tone and the style of the film. And uh, overall, uh, this production I believe is far superior than to uh, School of the Dead way far superior than yeah. School of the Dead. This was technically superior and the acting was better, you can say. Yeah, it was better, much more better than... Um, I think it's okay. Okay, I like, I like the textures on the wall here, the lighting, the lighting from the hallway. Yeah, I like the glare on the floor and the ceiling. It's a nice effect. And, uh, okay, we got that club that Farouk is holding from the janitor's room. What else? Say something else interesting. Anything interesting. Um, we had to get Ralph to turn off the lights in the hallway. Thanks to him. Thanks to Ralph and all the janitor staff. They've been yep. For their helpful. patience. Yep. Putting up with our crap and our mess. Okay. Um, here we just want to get kind of inside, outside look. I don't see anything. Oh, right. At first we didn't know, um, after they opened the door you see the first zombie of many to come, but um, at first we had no idea how we wanted them to pop out, and um, I believe this one played off pretty effectively as you can see. Yeah, I wanted them to trip over the zombie. This is a nice shot. Jesse was a fantastic zombie. He's really into this acting stuff, so props to him. He's also a hilarious person, almost like his brother. Okay. This... Um, the makeup, talk about the makeup. Oh wait, wait, the stick. That was already pre-broken in half. And Justin was just holding it in the middle and he cracked it hard on his brother's back. But it wouldn't hurt, it didn't hurt. In this production, no one really, really got hurt. Yeah, well... They got hurt, but they really... Yeah, not really, really got hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I added the swearing in because I thought you know, it would be more realistic and you know action packed and all that. Okay, the first day of filming stopped at this point right here before the hit. There you go, that's the second day, second day of filming. And this whole special effects scene took entire day, it was like so hard. Jeez man, talk, talk about the cranberry yeah there's a whole bunch of problems us getting with the cranberry as we use for blood as well as trying to get the actors in each shot we that took a place on a different day it was also hard to get the actors or the zombies face makeup to look exactly the same okay let's just talk about the current on-screen images so yeah <laughs> yeah uh, we put a pillow inside there so Farouk could actually hit hit it really hard um, when you saw the blood spat splatter, it was actually Chris's hand holding the cranberry and he shot it up. Yeah, so that's how we did that effect. I like this part, this is improv on their part. 
the, the handshaking shows camaraderie and oh, friendship shit. and all that. Mm. What it, are you looking at? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, they made up their lines. Like, they knew what they were going to say, but they made up the actual dialogue. Again, we had the script, though, but... Yeah. Yeah. There were some complications. No, I'm just... <laughs> joking. This is good. Jesse keeps his eyes open, never blinks. Pop. It's a hard... Well, oh, this kick, eh, I didn't think it turned out that well. We had to practice many times, but this is all right. Both three, this four times. Yeah. Yeah, I think this first action scene was choreo choreo choreographed really well. Yeah. I think Farouk helped this picture a lot, eh? Yeah. His acting, his natural acting ability, star quality, and, and all that. Teaming up, him up with Justin was just... Yeah, Justin, another high-caliber, Oscar-worthy <laughs> actor. Yeah. Yeah. Teaming him up was probably one of the yeah. best things he did. <laughs> and, yeah, Farouk, I met Farouk last year in drama, in grade 11 drama. We, we did that play called on, Once Was Blind. Yeah. And Farouk was playing a character named Blake, this blind man. And, yeah, that's when I noticed Farouk was really interested in acting. We started talking, and we planned to do a film together. And he was in interested in martial arts also, and we wanted to do like an action right. film, but then he had to go to co-op, and then yeah. I, uh, yeah, and yeah, it was a fluke. The first day of shooting, we actually bumped into bumped him, into and then that's when we replaced Mark's role on the <laughs> first day. Like, you know. it was unexpected. It just yeah. happened. And he said, "Sure, okay, I'll act in it." Here's the third day of shooting, and this. Um, yeah, we had to wait because there's a basketball game going on. And we had to wait for all the people to shuffle out and everything. It was quite noisy, and we almost got kicked out. Yeah. The principals thought we were just, you know, we're just causing trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're really there doing something constructive with our time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come on, this is dry, man. Talk some more. I don't know what else. What else? What else going on? Yeah, our crew is just waiting on the stage. Hiding behind things, they're so nosy. You know, <laughs> they always want to watch the filming happening and everything. But yeah, they they hid behind things. Paul's always shouting at them, trying mm, to get them out of the way. Well, okay. What else? Okay, they're gonna go up to the stage. Or like that shot, there was a, a ladder on the wall. Yeah. Climbed up to do some nice overhead shot, some variety, some style to the movie. Um, this part's nice the way the black and the light. Yeah, just I like this part where Justin looks from the curtain and it reveals the whole landscape, the whole scene of the cafeteria. And this is when uh, the art exhibit yeah. was happening. So we have to be very careful. Let's see. Oh, the zombies. Yeah, talk about the zombies. Hassan got those guys. Okay. So talk about them, man. <laughs> well, the zombies um, were chosen by... Um, two of the zombies were chosen by Hassan. One's name's Mike and the other's Bruno. As well as I'm one of the zombies in this scene. Oh, yeah. And um, then the opposite side of where um, the two stars are. So later on when you do see them, they just pop out of nowhere. Okay, let's talk about the film now. Um, hmm. I suck at commentaries, man. Me too. Shit. Um, We're kind of glad that um, the art exhibit's there, so it gives it the more feel like they're actually in their school, like there was something happening before all this catastrophe oh yeah, oh took yeah. place so that's that's why we were kind of glad that, that that was all there so it gives the idea people were actually there before this whole thing was happening let's see um yep i just took cuts back and forth back and forth angles Okay, this is uh, Jesse again, the first zombie that you saw, that with all the blood splattering, that's him again. We just use him as a dead human body, you know, get some more uh, 
scenery yeah. into the film and look it makes the film more grand with a, you know a big huge cast of course we have to reuse them but we recycled yeah. many people and uh, this scene sh- starts to show uh, Farouk's how do you say not quite like fascination but more uh, uh, hatred or something hatred or yeah observing the zombies and he doesn't quite like them very much obviously because you know they bit his girlfriend in the beginning scene but yeah there were a lot of uh, scenes that we were planning to shoot but they weren't shot yeah a lot yeah. of um, un- unable yeah. to add a scene um, at this point this is just at this area it just shows how Farouk how it just builds the hatred for these things just build until he just yeah. explodes oh himself. Chris wicked zombie who did the makeup talk about that oh for the makeup it was um me and Mark that helped out with the makeup for the those particular zombies. Um, Mark helped me with my makeup especially, and um, the effect that we tried to big off turned out well. As for the vending machine um, part, we didn't want to actually break the vending machine, <laughs> so um, we just um, let them take a couple of wax and we just throw some chips in there. Yeah, I just told Justin to like pretend to bang on the machine, but he actually hit it really hard. You'll see it's coming up. And yeah, I got some uh, some bags of chips. You'll see. We'll explain this later on. But this girl, this girl, um, she was she was always hanging around. She's a nice, nice girl, and she decided to be a dead person. Okay, watch this part. Bang, bang. Where's the last hit? Whoa. <laughs> Um, yeah, those are the chips. We just put them inside. <laughs> and we never had that many, but we recycled them. The next shot, we put some more back in and, and um, then pulling actually, them out. Actually, those chips were eaten before he actually took them out. So yeah, some of them were eaten by the crew member. Yeah. So we had to take it the... It Bruno and Chris. Okay, Farouk starts to show his insanity. He wants to go when and kick some zombie ass. When he flips out. I like the music. Really cool. Eh? If you can look. <laughs> I don't know. Talk about anything you want, man. And um, just before um, Fruit turns, if you look straight to the back of the stage on your right hand side, you'll be seeing two crew members who look very close to you. Yeah. Fortunately, um, Bruno wasn't a very convincing zombie, but he was right. in the role. Right. Boom. Bang. Bap. Yeah, Farouk's a pretty athletic guy, so he did a lot of his own stunts and action sequences. Yes. Made him do some martial arts sequences and choreographed fight scenes. Yep. Mm, here's a grab. <laughs> The unsuspecting grab. Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, when Farouk did this, when we were doing this with Farouk, he actually thought he was being pulled on the table because we didn't give him any warning. Oh. So he was really screaming. He didn't know what was happening on the other side of the stage <laughs> until we actually told him what happened. He's like, oh. <laughs> what else? Uh, people on the set. Yeah, they're all. Who else was on the set? Helen was there doing behind the scenes. And, uh, oh yes. well, yeah, we shoot we shoot after schools starting usually about 5 to 6 p.m. We end off at 8, 9, 10, or 11. This was an exhausting shoot today, yeah. this day, day three. Mm, exhaustion yeah. much took its toll on this day. Justin, I told you to come here on this editing day, man. Me and Chris can't do this commentating thing, man. We're dry. <laughs> we can't talk. We just think. We don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. Anyways, let's see. I like this part. I love it when two good actors play off of each other. These guys are great at that. Throw lines back at each other, back and forth. I love the music. It fits perfectly. Listen. This is the lazy zombie Bruno. <laughs> yeah. I 
should have came back for more. <laughs> Talk louder, man. The level's not high enough. Not too loud. Okay. Yeah, just can't hear you. This was the same day, day three, and cut. This is day four <laughs> of shooting. The infamous Helen Steele. Yeah. And this marks the appearance of one of the most scariest zombies in the entire film. Um, what's his name? Sick Vinder. Sick Vinder. Or known as Lucky. <laughs> he is one hell of a zombie. scary zombie. <laughs> that's for sure. He's a Rob Roy of zombies. So, yeah, this is a frantic scene. They're searching for Helen. She's seemingly disappeared and adds some intense music. Here you go. Bro, I'll take the bathroom. You check outside. Helen! Helen! I like that music. Hmm. Yep, looking for Helen. As the search continues. Helen! This is where he kind of breaks down. And uh, for one of the following scenes where you see Farouk crying for for one shot we actually uh, put pepper in he, he actually sniffed pepper <laughs> just so he can get teary eyed a little bit you no know. just for the movie only for the movie that's Farouk he's dedicated he's a good guy okay want to get Justin wash his face hmm. should I talk about the shots um yeah. sure yeah well I just shoot how I feel I just get any angle that feel that would fit the movie. It's more of an instinctual thing. And um, if you really look at the washroom, it looks huge. But the real washroom is like twice as small as how big it looks on screen. Oh yeah, the washroom is really cramped. Justin, is he in there? Help me find him, get out of there, help! Oh, for the, the picture, you're wondering why this doesn't look like home video? Well, because at the editing studio... Oh, here's a shot with the... Look at his eyes, watery. That's Pepper. Oh, Sigvinder appearing. He actually he took his uh, turban off so he can have his long hair. It was a really w wicked effect. But yeah, th if you're wondering why this video looks doesn't look like home video, because we went to the editing studio and we added some grain, desaturated the color a bit, took out the color, make it, try to make it look more like film. Oh, this part, this punch right here, this back fist, we had to rehearse a couple times. Yeah, awesome. Perfectly executed. And that's um, what they're trying to get through. Uh, attempt to bite. <laughs> Farouk kind of screwed up this kick a couple of times, so I ended up with this last one. It was all right. Yep, that was an actual reaction. He didn't expect that. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> that was good. Um, in the behind the scenes video footage, you'll, you'll see how we did this effect. But for now, I'll explain it. Obviously, he's boosting himself on the chair. This is He's holding himself up from a table and a wall. He's on the chair. Boom. Spit this shit out. <laughs> this is day five right now. Yeah, day five. Bam. Ooh, he drops six feet, seven feet. And actually, he was standing on the chair, and as I panned down, Justin, he was on the chair, and Justin pulled it away, so it looked like he fell from a, from a high height. That was a neat effect. You'll see in the behind-the-scenes footage. This was a, a tiring shoot. A lot of people were tired and pissed off and wanted to go home. <laughs> this was the day that we stayed till uh, 11, I believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no comment. Okay, <laughs> this is Justin's idea to get Sigvinder on the trolley and wheel him out. That would be like a comedic scene, but a very exciting scene also. And um, Pop! kick one. The shots that are coming out now. The quick cut clean shots that are coming out. Where I believe one of one of the many best shots in this film, especially uh, how he pulls the rail. Those those are nice, clean shots. Yeah, here's a hilarious scene. Watch. <laughs> Boom! There's nothing there to pop, pop. 
Tu. Rated PG-13. Rated R. His head wasn't actually hitting it. It was, uh, explain that. It was that whenever his head lifted up, he would raise his hand. Yeah, Sigvinder would, would slap his hand against the wall. <coughs> and he did it so slightly that you weren't even able to oh, see Oh, this is day, me. what is it? Six. Six? Day six already? Holy smoke. <laughs> Are you sure? You yeah, day five was just the last day. <coughs> yeah, day six of filming. And yeah, shooting the film it takes quite a toll on the cast, but after they watch uh, the footage, footage, yeah, yeah, and they, you know they're happy about their, the product that they put out and the performance. It gives uh, like a, a big moral boost to the cast, so it's worth it. You know, they work hard, they see something good, and you know, you want to continue the project. So a lot of yeah, better about themselves in the process. And uh, you're, you're you're wondering. The camera movement is like really frantic here because I had to keep keep a low position or else you'd see my reflection in the mirror, in the glass. So I'd always have to stay below where you cannot see my reflection. Oh, here's, here's Andre and Mark Sims zombies. Mark Sims is the... This is the next day, right? Yeah. No, was it? No, no, it's the same day. Oh, yeah, day six. Still day six. And, um, oh, like this. Look at this. Zombie killers! <laughs> and yeah, we so I brought Mark Sims back in on the project. We needed a stunt performer, and you know he's one of the most experienced. You know, because me and Mark have been doing fighting movies for like since 1994 when we were like 13, 14 years old. So, boom, reaction, boom, spit the blood out. Perfect, perfectly executed. And Mark did like a lot of stunts, and I let's see this part. Yeah. That was his own tensing band on his head, Mark's head, you know, that band. And Justin is pretty physical too, he can do nice action scenes on this part. We have to choreograph this. And Mark, listen. Whoa. Um, in that scene, he didn't actually hit his head, it was his elbow. Yeah. And um, he's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I took extreme liberties with Mark since he's my friend. I, I didn't even tell him what he's gonna do, I just said, just flip, I don't care, just flip. <laughs> I didn't, you know, and, um, I didn't think it was dangerous. <laughs> and this part, I go, fruit, just hit him, don't worry, it won't hurt. Bam. Yeah. But Mark, yeah, Mark's a tough guy. He doesn't care. And, um, when, the, when you watch the behind the scenes, you'll see how the neck turn was done. And oh how yeah. we used um, a trolley as well as a coat over the trolley. Oh, yeah. Oops, the vendor returns. And Mark was actually kind of like, what is it, impatient? Yeah, yeah he's impatient, man. <laughs> what a bum, Frig. <laughs> yeah, man, so we're doing these movies to get famous, and he's like such a bum. <laughs> In any ways. <laughs> oh, we had to shoot this shot twice because I originally Mark wasn't limp. He was a kind of, I wanted him to be limp like now. Yeah. Boom, surprise, surprise. And Farouk had to do that, that uh, judo roll so he can safely get out. It wasn't just a flip, you know, you have, when you roll, you have to tuck your head in, right? <laughs> or else you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah, you're going to hurt yourself. You have to roll the correct way. And this, I just decided to follow Sigvinder behind him with the camera, and so he's approaching Justin looking like, uh oh, two zombies, uh oh. But surprise, surprise, what happens? Zombie eat zombie. Yeah. Zombie versus zombie. The ultimate battle. Boom. Sigvinder is supposed to be the super strong zombie. It's almost time to go home. <laughs> oh, I never slept, man. His fault. Yeah, so tired. But yeah, I had a lot of fun making this movie. Oh, it's the greatest. Looking forward to making another movie. I want to return to my roots, what, action films, Action like films, yeah. Karate films. There so might be a rival school coming up. Yeah, rival school is written by Chris Williams. Maybe. Maybe. If the deal goes through, right, Chris? Right. Yeah, <laughs> to work that out, so. Okay, this. 
Yeah, and since um, I know I've done a lot of what action films, we don't really like. <laughs> <laughs> we're not too. What is it? Keen. We don't focus. Yeah, we're not too keen on safety aspects. Where you just, just take liberties with the actors and tell them just do it. Just, just do it. <laughs> fall out this and that. <laughs> but then again, you know, I don't ask them to do crazy stuff that I wouldn't do myself. I think it's reasonable, like, to get hit by this or that. It doesn't hurt. But yeah, in the real movies, they wouldn't do that. No. <laughs> Only us kids. Stun doubles. Yeah. The return. There was a lot of cranberry sauce used in this production. Yep. And uh, two liters. Movie blood, fake blood. Paint, oh. a lot of uh, oil-based paints. 1.5 liters of <coughs> fake blood and a lot of face paint. Oh, yeah. I like this part. <laughs> Look at the style. This part was really good. It was just to emphasize... No, not yet. When Farouk opens the door, that's the part. This part. <laughs> Multiple angles. <laughs> that was a, a dummy leg a dummy there, leg. of course. <laughs> was not his real thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, um, Farouk <laughs> didn't wash that shirt. He would have to, like, each time we filmed, we would he put the shirt away and then the next day use it again. It's dirty and dirty. It's smelly now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And we're planning to keep that shirt and probably hang it up in the wall. Frame sign it. our names on it. Frame <laughs> it. It'll be like uh, zombie killer's memorabilia. It'll be worth something one day for sure. Day, yeah. When Farouk becomes a big actor. Oh yeah, and there's always people coming in and out from the swimming pool for swimming lessons or using the gym and we'd yeah. always have to wait. So you have to wait for them to come through. That's right. Some of them are just so... A lot of arguing in this movie. <laughs> but they're good. They're good actors. They can handle it. They have good expressions and everything. What else? Um... Instead of talking about the film, because they're just going to watch it, let's just talk about like, what we did behind the set. Any jokes and pranks. Yeah, Justin's a really funny character. He's always like joking around. Really funny guy to work with. Um, Farouk's always the quiet one, always yeah, watching. Farouk's, Farouk's a serious one. Yeah. Me, yeah, I just cause trouble every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> what, I'm always, always in the shop. Is this the next day? Yeah. Yeah, this so is day seven. seven. Yeah. Oh, then that means that was the last day, right? Yeah. Okay, this is day seven. Um, actually, when we did these shots, the janitors are actually in the room. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, the camera, I had, uh, didn't have that much room to maneuver in. The janitor right now is on the left hand side on the computer playing computer games. Because <laughs> we didn't want to kick them out all the time, you know. Yeah. They're on their lunch breaks, like around eight o'clock, nine o'clock right now. So yeah, janitor's right on the chair right there. I had to cut quickly. Oh, that green lantern flashlight, that's my mom's. She bought it for Y2K. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we all know what happened on Y2K day. Nothing. All that water. Don't speak too batteries and all this garbage. Don't <laughs> speak too soon. <laughs> um, this is classic run scene. Oh, yeah. We just did this as filler. I'll admit it. It's just to make the movie longer, fatten it up with fat, you know. It's long cuts, long takes, but... It's a good fattener. Oh, yeah. You got some special shots coming up soon. Well, about the music, if you're wondering about the music, we use... Uh, all the, mu the music is copyright free. So... Oh, this is, this is Justin's idea for beautiful. me to go across and to shoot this. It's a beautiful shot right here. I love this shot also, the architecture, the lights on the ceiling. Very nice looking. Of course, you know, running over the camera shot. <laughs> and there's always the janitors in the way. You don't see them, but they're actually there cleaning up the hallways, you know, doing a great job. And uh, yeah, we always had to make sure they didn't get into the shot. At <laughs> this point, he um, had to do excessive breathing so they can't hear the janitor right behind us. Oh, yeah. We to make more noise to, you know, to distort, to drown out their own noise. Yeah. <laughs> what else? 
taken it. Okay, um, this falling off scene was um, a nice scene. Uh, it was hilarious doing as well. <laughs> Baby zombie. <laughs> this is a guy, a kid named Wesley. Really nice kid. We took extreme liberties with him. <laughs> Bashed him up pretty good, but he's a tough little lad. It was the human punching bag. Yeah. Watch this. I don't think we should talk. Just let him watch. Beautiful, beautiful. All actual hits. And this wasn't, this wasn't really choreographed. I just told him to work on him and I told Wesley just react to the punches. React, yeah. But they forgot to fake it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he actually got hit a couple of times, but not too hard. Like this, this wouldn't hurt. It looks, see, it all depends on the reacting. That way, I bet you Farouk didn't even touch him. At least we're hoping. It's all about the angles and how you, you know, what, how where, you use them. where you film it. And I, I actually felt sorry for the kid. <laughs> and the funny thing, he always got up. He always got up. Yeah, we never gave him the proper instructions. He, he always got up, but that was good. He always got up. And, and we did the scene to be hilarious, to show Farouk's insanity. And Okay, watch this. Oh, there goes the cranberry. <laughs> Um, he's this he is got a, up again. <laughs> this is a good scene. Calm down, down. Watch this punch. Wesley's still calm. And if you heard that sound, it's actually proof Farouk just punched the wall. And yeah, Wesley did a nice uh, head throw. He reacted really well. At least we hope it was the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to doing an action movie with Farouk. What else? Oh yeah, all the cast Hassan. Uh, even my brother wants to come to the filming and yeah. they're actually on the stairwell right behind us, right behind me right now. I just know. sitting and watching. You know, we tell them to wait somewhere else but they just follow us, right? There's nothing we can yeah. do. <laughs> Dramatic scene. And uh, I kept this a really long shot, a long take, to lengthen the movie, to save on the choreography, and uh, I was lazy, you know. <laughs> I don't think you needed too many cuts for this, you know, just following him, is, I think it's good enough. And yeah, we got the caretaker, Ralph, again, turn off the turn off certain off. lights. I mean, look, this is the school foyer. C.W. Jeffries looks beautiful. Very moody, very nice lighting. Oh, that's Andre again. <laughs> he had no makeup on, but we just used him really quickly. I like this shot from outside. Don't worry, you're not supposed to hear what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. And this is the dead body in the halls full of dead bodies. Come on, the movie's almost done. Let's talk. Talk okay. some more. More, um, more. <laughs> Not getting paid for nothing. <laughs> Not getting paid. <laughs> that first dead body that they go into, that was me. Oh, really? That was you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the, the camera, camera. From, for the behind the scenes. And yeah, Chris was following us around doing the behind the scenes junk. And we decided we need more dead bodies. So we used them and we also we go, we figured, oh, let's use the camera too. Like we could do a, a Blair Witch and get these zombie killer guys to like get the camera and perhaps view the footage later to see what happened. Oh, this is funny. You know how like black guys these days, you know, have the, the, the comb in their hair. I'm offended. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I added that in. I told him, take the comb from his hair and... Hey, it was in your hair, you idiot. It was in my hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is Wesley again, the, the boxing zombie. We just reused them because, you know, we didn't have anybody <laughs> else. <laughs> Last minute. Oh, yeah. And that's Bruno again. 
Now oh, they're good. poking and prodding. Beautiful. <laughs> See if he's alive. Uh, yeah, I love the lighting. It's perfect. It's beautiful. And then the silence goes beautifully with it. Just makes you very anxious. Just wondering what's going to happen next. So this was uh, the last day of shooting. Yes. Day seven, which was yesterday. Yes, yesterday. What was yesterday? February. Thursday. One. February the third. February third, Thursday. Oh, that means screams out today. Scream part three. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Back to the commentary. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this movie was made in the year two thousand. Just in case someone watches this commentary a couple years from now. No. Two well, this is zero. Mike again, the, the zombie that got hit in the head with the, the, the tray, metal tray. And just get yourself ready. <laughs> Chris and his music cue, can't get enough of them. <laughs> and I just told Farouk to work on Mike. You know, Mike's a- athletic also, you can take the shots. It's nothing much, right? So I just told Farouk, you know, just bash him up, you know, give him a couple of shots. And, you know, open hand strikes, nothing big. Don't kill him. <laughs> Nothing. It won't hurt. You know. <laughs> that was your main. I, I love this shot with the flashlights, you know, glaring off the the floor. It's beautiful. And yeah, I like the this shot. We turned the the lights in the hallway off and just left the light at the end on in the doorway. It's beautiful. And the flashlight flickering back and forth just gives you that effect. As okay, for those budding videographers, filmmakers out there. This film was shot on the Sony Hi-8 Hi- Hi- Handycam. Sony? Yeah. What's their, what's their slogan? Uh, uh, PlayStation. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, shot and it was uh, edited, completely edited at uh, inside the camera. We can't tell oh you yeah. how because that's, you know, that's my secret, that's right? That's uh, PBE secret. Yeah. And uh, we edited the sound at Peckham, Peckham Editing Center, Studios, studios wherever, <laughs> <laughs> in Thornhill, Ontario, Canada. Sorry, right, Tiori. Thornhill. Yes, Thornhill. Right, and this is Hassan. He decided he's finally in the movie. <laughs> he helped a lot doing makeup. Yeah. And this is <laughs> an authentic police shirt, courtesy of Miss Innes. You couldn't find the hat, though. Well, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. We gotta thank Miss Innes for. Well, yeah, Miss yeah. Innes. Thanks for everything, eh? For giving us this opportunity to film after school, for just letting me have the opportunity to exercise my filmmaking skills. It's very helped me very much. Right now, I'm sticking up my thumbs at you, but you can't see. Okay, <laughs> and this is uh my brother's or my uh, my my uh, my own cap gun prop <laughs> prop prop gun. Prop gun with only two bullets left. Let's continue our search, come on. <laughs> this is in the sack o- office, by the way. Which Those really are Farouk's s- shoes. We put Farouk's shoes on Hassan because Farouk needed new shoes. He was sick and tired of walking around in the film with only one shoe, so he decided to... <laughs> Improvise. Yeah, take the shoes from the cop, which were actually... His shoes. His shoes. <laughs> and the thing, um, when they're complaining about the stench, the stressful. sack room actually stunk. Oh sack yeah. room was really, really... It's Farouk's smelly socks. I had smelly socks that day, too. And probably Chris, he always has smelly socks. Yeah, but I wasn't running around bare feet. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> but it'll smell. Yeah, it really smelled in there, so we used it to advantage. <laughs> we just added it in. And if if anyone notices there were some candy canes missing? Oh, please. You Chris? gotta try to blame that on me. There is no candy canes missing. From no the candy sack canes office. were harmed in this video. Oh, yeah, what else for the. Filmmakers, future filmmakers out there. Um, what else are you gonna say to them? Um, Just do it. Yeah, Nike. <laughs> yeah, do it. I mean, don't let anybody tell you you can't, cause they told us we can't. Look what yeah. we did. Well, it's well, all not. It's all right. Yeah. Okay, watch this. <laughs> uh, Alisa was complaining. She, we always held her off. She was never in the movie, so we decided. Oh, all right, go kiss, kiss Farouk, as a joke, and they did it. This was the last day. She, yeah. she had it. And she was there every day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every day. Plus, we had to end off the movie really quickly. Thank you for listening to us. We are such boring assholes. <laughs> Good night. Please. Bye.
leave your ticket and money at the front foyer. Bye. <laughs>